Ladies and gents, we are here. Welcome to the Tetria World Championship 2023 main event. How are you doing, Willie J? Thank you for coming on to present this with me. Dude, I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here, and I'm super excited for this. <laughs> just, so, yeah. just take a look at that poster. <laughs> Beautiful. This poster is amazing. I'm so glad that we were able to get such amazing art done again. Um, and we have another three-week event for you this year. It's going to be super exciting. That group stage is going to be kicking off this Friday at, uh, I think it's still going to lay around 8 p.m. Eastern time. And, yeah, 8, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, mid midnight UTC. If you don't live in one of those two time zones, you're used to doing the math by now. Yep, but yeah, there you go. And we, we list all the times in UTC, so you can easily convert that if you need it. And then our top 16 and finals will be on November 17th and 18th, respectively. I'm so excited for this. We've been building up to this for so long. Willie J, how are you feeling about the state of the championship right now? I, I'm excited for it. Um, we saw a last minute the kind of squat for first place promo taking the lead with the last tournament to get that first seed so there's like kind of like shifts all over the place and there's a lot of people who are in contention for the victory spot yeah like i i just can't wait to show you guys these groups because i mean you've all seen like the the full list of qualified players it's on the website some substitutions did have to be made you're going to be seeing how these groups go up in just moments but right now i just want to see it in the chat if you guys are here let me uh, make sure i have this open like are you guys excited for this we've been building up to this for so long over five months of qualification just for this moment right now we're going to see how all the groups line up yeah it's it's I'm been, it's the been, it's tonight, been a guys. hot minute since we've last been on this stage <laughs> I can't wait. So without further ado, should we run? Should we start showing off the group? Should we not keep them waiting any longer? Should we show group A? Uh, uh, I think we should show them group A. All right, here we are, I think ladies and gentlemen. Time. Without further ado, group A, who you will be seeing at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on November 11th, 2023. You want to read off the players for us? Uh... If you want to read the players off for this one, I have a little bit of a bitrate moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. So we got Promo, who was first place for the entire qualification session. Over 400 points, the only player to do so. So big congratulations to him. Second seed here, ranked 16 overall. Bachesser rode to H rank with 177 points. Right behind them, number 17 overall. Third seed for the group, CM Dingo with 174 points. 33rd overall, 4th seed of the group with 113 points in Ellie. I think there might be a typo there. But we got Ebu here as well with 109 points. I think they're 34 and we forgot to add the number. 34, 35. It's, it's 32 and 33. <laughs> yeah, so this is a group of super close rankings here. That's just how Group A worked out. We got that. We'll fix that for the main uh, tweet and stuff like that. I believe we have rank 48 and 89 points in Jaden PPT. Jaden's had some great performances coming from PPT, so I'm excited to see her compete here. Also excited to see Lifeline, who's playing now. Um, I haven't seen them for a bit. I don't know if that's just because I haven't been following tournaments they've been playing in, but I'm glad they were able to make it here in 49th. Um, with a similar amount of points, I think, to Jaden. And then finally, at 64th, Dash Pepper Yoshi made it in. Big shout out to them. They have a great profile picture, too. Dude, I, I love that profile with the picture. Just whenever I see it, it's like... It's like, oh, it's just... It's, it's iconic. <laughs> yeah, and I forgot to mention as well, you will see the Team TSD or Puzzle Kingdom logo in the corner. That will denote where the main stream for this group is, because we're going to have two simultaneous streams. And there will be a quad stream, so we get all the early matches recorded on Hummingbird Nest for all the groups, yep. if that makes sense. Every single match this tournament, you'll be able to find it on some stream, whether it's this one, whether it's Team TSD, or for, or for some of them, it'll be on the each nest stream. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, we've covered Group A. Is it time for Group B? I think it would be a good time for Group B. Hold on, give me a moment. I'm going to double check the numbers here while we're at it. But, I mean, I saw a lot of discourse in there. So, I'm just glad that you guys, um, I'm just glad that you guys seem to be enjoying this. Um, 
But yeah, again, make sure that you're following Hummingbird Nest, Team TSD, and of course here at Puzzle Kingdom if you want, you know, these uh, updates, because that's where they're, um, that's where they're all going to be for this. So, yeah, just make sure you're keeping in touch there, um, if you want any of these. And yeah, I believe the upsa uh, the website is now updated. Almost uh, messed that one up. So you can go to worlds um, dot tetr dot i worlds dot tetrio pretty much, and um, you'll be able to see yep. all of the info there. Yep, all that info is going to be there. Links to the stream, links to the brackets, every everything you're going to want to know is going to be right there for you. It's hard hard to miss. <laughs> Yep, I'm just double checking some stuff real quick. All right. I think one of our images for the next slide did not export properly because there's always something, you know, but we adapt and overcome. Where is this coming from? There we go. All right. I figured this out. Listen, I'm an engineer, guys. Alright, I kept you waiting for much longer than I wanted to, so let's just get straight into it. We got Group B with Diao here or Ickley in second place, just 15 points behind promo at 390. Which is uh, honestly crazy. We got Amber Doodle in 15th overall ranking, second seed for the group with 196 points. Yida, 18th overall, third in the group with 151 points. Pon Poco, 31st overall, 4th in the group with 116 points. We got Ohm Kung, 34th overall, and 5th in the group with 109 points. P. Danny, 6th in the group, 47th overall with 90 points. Selfish Human, 50th overall, 7th in the group with 87 points. And we got Run, just eating it in at 63rd for the event with 65 points. And the final seed of this group. This is another super strong one. Hadn't seen a lot of Amber Doodle before TWC, honestly. Um, and I'm so glad that they made it. I've been I've been enjoying their runs. I've been enjoying the runs of all these players. It's so interesting. You can see on the website how each player individually made it into the tournament. Whether they were grinding out Radiance, Stratospheres, Full Throttles, all those minor events, even those Toss Opens later, were worth a lot of points. Made or broke some seeding and some placement in the whole entire world championship along with what majors they were placing the best at you can see all that on the world's website you can also see it in the full bracket view you can still see like points and stuff like that and it will link back for all these players but yeah willie j you got any comments about this one this is also a team tsd group as well And I think, I think before, um, we're going to chime in on this one, I think QMK donated $300 to the Tetria World Championship prize pool. And we'll be talking about that. Oh no, Willie J's mic went out. Uh, is it working? Is it working? Oh, is we're working? back! Oh, we're back! I didn't even need to mention it! I gotta let the illusion stay! I gotta let the illusion stay! We we're are back. so back! We're so back. Okay, now I can ask you, what do you think about this group that we have here? All right, so so my fun fact that you all were gonna hear and then I didn't come through and I'm so sad about it is Diao qualified. Diao got this like second place, 390 points, super crazy, without filling out all of their tournament slots. Left two minors open on the table, still got 390 points. That's eight That's major crazy. perfect scores. And it's like, how do you do that? I, like, Diao has been running dominant, which is absolutely crazy, and the fact that they still had room to grow, they still could have outplaced Promo at that 405 with those minor placements is shocking. It's going to be exciting to see how this qualifier format evolves in future years, but you know, for now, it's set in stone, and Group C is set in stone as well, so... Let me make sure that I can make sure you can see this. We we can kind of take turns here. If you want to read out the next two groups and we can all three. Right, I've solved I my bitrate issues so I can read out a group. All right, perfect. I'll also make sure you can see it in our call here. Sweet. <laughs> 
so yeah, uh, I think when you're ready and when Chad is ready, we can move on to see Group C. Alright, let's take a look at Group C. Alright, we got our number one seed in this one is Fortissim with 370, 379 points. Yeah, if I can count. Unnamed at 14th place, 201. Ricky, 19th. Corpy also. Then we have Muke, Jack, Togaius, and UI Galaxy for the rest, for the remaining four of that group. You'll be seeing that on Team TSD stream November 10th. Yeah, so now we're kind of moving on. Uh, we forgot to mention Group B, you will be seeing this Saturday. The previous group that we show will be on Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, but now we're moving into Standard here. Uh, yes, this will be Standard Time. It's a little bit confusing um, uh, yeah. because we're getting Americas have Daylight Savings Time shift and Europeans are some other time. So, but just remember like Midnight UTC. Yep. You can always work backwards from there. <laughs> Yep, midnight UTC every night is when we're going to be starting these. So yeah, you can figure out that figure it out there. And um, again, a lot of strong players, a lot of players that I'd say have been evolving uh, throughout the TWC season are making it into these. And the and the, I think my favorite part about this entire circuit and this entire series has just been seeing a bunch of players get so much better um, over the course of this um, over the course of this circuit. And there are a lot, there are a few who become heavy hitters placed in the top 10, who I would not even predict would be in top 40 um, before this TWC right. season. So I'm just so excited to see this stuff. Florida Sims been building on the skills that they've uh, built from last year, made it in third place, super dominant showing, you know, we got people, um, like I think Jack in general as well, I think is one of the people I've been noticing. He's just been improving a lot over the past year or two uh, coming up here. And then we have more international talent like Quarpy and Togaya. So I'm super excited for this one as well. It's going to be a nice big battle of the brains. And we're going to be seeing that on Team TSD November 10th. Um, yeah. And that skill increase is like almost even reflective in like what it takes to get X rank in this time. He's like that the SS rank gone or U rank border gone right back down, but the X rank just like stays super high because these players are just so much better now than than just six months ago. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think six months ago you would probably not be uh, be able to predict a lot of these qualifiers because so much is changing, especially that mid level. The players that we're seeing in this mid level are so interesting. Like, you know, the inclusion of Muke, Togaya, UI Galaxy, definitely a name I wouldn't have told you would have made it into the TWC at the start. No offense to them, but, you know, I just I just didn't know if they'd be able to make it. We knew that they were in that range. It was possible, but actually being able to kind of predict who would make it between that, like, 30 to 60 range in points is nearly impossible, especially with how everyone was, was evolving over time. So if you made any predictions in that range and you're quite accurate, I don't know how you'd even make predictions like that. Kudos to you. Yeah, New York Galaxy was still like an SS rank just just starting to get onto you in just a year ago. So mm -hmm. seeing somebody make that jump in just a year to now having a having a chance, having their attempt at world championship is just incredible. Yep, for sure. I think with that said, are we good to move on to Group D? You think that we covered everything here? I think so. Let's take a look at Group D. All right, Group D, here we are. Give us the players, Billy J. All right, here it is. Firestorm is our number one seed in this group with 349 points. QMK also as our second, 214. And three and four are Poison Drought in Tiki. And then our remaining four, Minus Pawn, Puffawas, Jinta, and Zen. I'm and that'll be say. on the PK stream November 10th. Yep, so this is our other November 10th group. And I mean, we have to bring this up. Somehow... It just worked out. It just worked out this way. One of the most classic matchups, I think, in like this modern Tetris history. Firestorm and QMK made it into this group. I'm so excited to see if they'll be able to match against each other here. Because if they do, that's going to be amazing. And there are just so many other great players here. Poison Drafts had some amazing runs throughout this TWC, and they're a player I've been keeping my eye out for when I've been streaming and running these tournaments. We got Jinta in here as well, who I think popped off. I did they um. I forgot exactly where they placed, but I think placed really well in that LCQ just to make it here um, and kind of clinch that qualification. Um, oh no, it wasn't Jinta, it's another player. 
My apologies. Dude, there are just so many people here. I'm actually, like, forgetting but, results. It's, it's hard to keep track of people sometimes, yeah, because just with how how many... How much good talent there are, like... <laughs> yeah, that's that's it's, kind it's of, crazy. like, the big... And, like, we got Tiki here as well, who's been brought up by a lot of fans in chat. I don't know much about Tiki, but I've heard their name around a lot. I'm pretty sure the fans here are going to be super interested to see them playing here, especially as the fourth seed. Yeah. just There's just so much we could say about these groups, but also so little at the same time, because all we could do is just appreciate how good these performances are from all these players to make it to this stage, um, especially in Zenta, who I think barely clinched it in before um, we had to, you know, kind of sub people in, who uh, people who could not play in the top 64. I think Zen was originally 64th place, so clinching that themselves, I just want to give a congratulations to them before we move on, because that, that right there was Zen crazy. Zen was actually 65th before. Tied for 65th? Would have been off by one. That's crazy. They were the first person to make it in. Yeah, and, and there was actually, um, we had to have a tiebreaker, like, match, a 1v1 between Zen and Hugh, because they had, like, when, they had the same exact eight qualifying scores. Like, that, they both oh my qualified God. with three eighteens, two or three eighteens, three fours, and two twos. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this makes sense, because we had to do some tiebreaker matches, um, to get these, uh, seeds accurate for the tournament. So now I'm remembering this. Yeah, and so they played in a qualifier match. <laughs> yep, and then and then another player who I want to bring up, who I've uh, who I've known about for a long time. We got Puffleups down here, um, who I first heard of from the first WPL, still playing and placing well. I'm glad to see them here. I wonder if they went to WPL, and that's like where their points came from. I can actually check this out here. Uh, so I yeah, the WPL actually didn't end up. It was their fourth highest major. Uh, they had oh, Tetrio wow. Tide Tour, then Prism Two, and Tetrio Cup Sixteen all above it. I see. Yeah, it looks like um, they were unfortunately eliminated early from Soccer Blend, which is the tournament I was following because I was running it. Um, but yeah, they placed a uh, super well, clinching a uh, top twelve at Tide Tour, which um, you know was getting them in there. So I mean. Big congrats to them as well. You know, we just have to give that congratulations and these shout outs to all of these players, all right? Yes, indeed. Just because this was such a long ranking season. Five months of consistently playing in qualifiers and trying to keep up is a lot. Especially if you're not like on the dominant side, you're in that like more mid tier, the top player. You want to clinch your way into worlds. Like, that's hard work. So, you know, right, I just want to give every player playing in like. It's the players who are playing in like extra tournaments to be able to make up for bad performances because they need to do that if they want their spots. Like that's a lot of work for a lot of people. We had a, I think what was the final number of total qualifiers? We I had it somewhere. I, I don't think know. It, if yeah, sixty-eight. Yeah, sixty-eight. <laughs> that's. <laughs> so you got people who are playing in so many of these trying to get their way through. <laughs> So, um, you know, Wiley's asking where's OSW, so why don't we move to the next group? Let's move to the next group, and I'll let you do the talking on this one. Alright, perfect. There he is! OSW, fifth overall, first seed in the group with 311 points. Next up, we got Adri Pro, um, 12th here, with, oh, I think, just over 220 points. I need to, I need to get my zoomed-in version here. My eyes are so bad, guys. This crap is insane. But yeah, Adri Pro with 229 points, 12th um, twelfth here overall, second in the group. Third seed in the group, 21st overall, 139 points in Dorami. Then we got 28th overall, fourth in the group with 123 points in Jin. Brilatas, 37th overall, fifth in the group with 106 points. Agar, 44th overall, 6th in the group with 96 points. QB, 7th in the group, 53rd overall with 81 points. And Hugh, 99, 60th overall, 8th in the group with 70 points. Congratulations, everyone. I'm so excited to see this one play out. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. There, there, are, there are a lot of names in this group that I am just really excited to watch play. I'm just, I just have to say it, man, and I know, I know you all are probably expecting this, but OSW's increase in skill, 
throughout the TWC season, making it all the way to fifth place. We knew OSW was a great contender, you know, with those strong placements in TEC, PPT, all of that. We knew there was potential here, but I think OSW was the, like the first cross game player to maximize it in this tournament, placing top five. I don't think anyone put this on their TWC bingo card and expected it to get marked off. But here we are, fifth place for OSW. I just want to shout that out because, I mean, OSW's placements throughout the whole season just increased so much from a 17th at the 15th Tetrio Cup to winning an IFT, winning a major, getting 100 points. That's big growth right there. Yeah, and so I mentioned uh, 68... I mentioned 68 tournaments that were um, qualifiers for this. Um... I want everybody to, like, take a guess at how many of them OSW played in. Just to take a little guess, I'll give you a couple seconds. I'll give you a couple seconds, because OSW's got, like, a great storyline here where that I that upset at IFT Elevate... Was it IFT Elevate or IFT High Rise? I forget which one. IFT Elevate getting that first place, it just propelled them really far. OSW played in 20 out of the 68 tournaments this season like <laughs> that is like nearly 30 percent of every tournament keep in mind hosted throughout all different time zones and osw is busy as well you know a student and all that like big shout outs to that grind man that's a lot of events you go to any play. tournament one in three odds osw is he there said he a, lot, more. a lot of dedication he said he should have played more <laughs> no. No, wait no that was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OSW is yeah, way up like... grinding, so that's just showing, like, if you grind in these circuits, the results show, earning that amazing seed. I mean, let's not discount all these other players, you know, because if you play a few amount of tournaments and your placements show the work, you can come in like Dormy. Dormy said they only played three tournaments, still made it to third seed in the group, but I mean, we all know that Dormy is a great player. Like, dormy has been a figurehead of just, like, Tetris in the community for a while now. So, like... It just shows that you can work in both ways. You can get the quantity, scale up your points to the maximum possible, or still make it in. Just land your secure performances, dude. Just land your secure performances in the events that you can comfortably play in. You know, just great stuff there. Another player I want to mention that was on my radar is I noticed he was on the cusp of qualifying for like a while now. I've been seeing them evolve as a player, so it's cool to see them in here. It's great to see repeat names, so I've been seeing a lot of like Berlatas and Jin. I don't really follow Tetrio competitive as closely as I used to. There's just so many events, you know, I have to make sure I'm working on the ones that I'm running. But just seeing a lot of names I'm familiar with, had a hunch would be qualifying here. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just super glad to see a lot of names in here. Just a lot of great players. We got Agar and QB as well. This group has a lot of familiar names for me. It's just so stat. Each group is amazing here in this event. Yeah, you know, I was I was saying some about OSW playing a lot of tournaments. You played in 27. Wait, for real? <laughs> yeah. And apparently Bot just played in 39 from an earlier group. Oh my gosh. How do you do that? So, like, I mean, just, just shouts out everyone the dedication, and it is paying off. You're seeing some amazing results here. Right, it just goes to show that every every single one of these, the six, 67, no, 64, 64 players who will be playing in this, they all have their own stories of how they earned their way to the tournament, earned their way to their placement, and there's just, there's a lot of storylines there. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if we want to talk about a storyline, if we're all ready, we can move on to the next group, Group F, if you guys are all ready. Let's go to F. All right. I'm seeing some messages in chat. People are getting ready. Let's start off. Group F, I'll be reading this off before handing it to you for the final two. Group F, which will be happening on Friday on Team TSD at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And OSW's group... 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday on the PK stream. We got Westel, sixth place overall, first in the group with 305 points, the Speed Demon. Right behind them, another Speed Demon, former Sprint World Record holder, Viz HD, 11th overall, second in the group with, I think that is 235 points. I need my blind person vision back. All right, we got it. Then... Third in the group, 22nd overall, 136 points in QL. Big congratulations there. 
27th overall, 4th in the group with 125 points. Shouts to Neko. 38th overall, 100 points. Even number in Cheese Whiz, 5th seed in the group. Then we got Jota, 43rd overall, 5th, um... 6th overall, I can't count. 96 total points, big congrats to them. 7th overall, 54th, or... 54th overall, 7th in the group, I can't talk, 79 points, Master 101. And then finally, 59th overall, 8th in the group, 70 points for Chi Chi, um, which you guys may know as Jason, um, who's produced some big results in matches before. So this group has some upset potential with these point counts. Let's talk about it. Yeah, Jason, Jason I'll start with Jason. Um, is one of those people who got in without playing much uh only played in tetra cup 15 and 16 uh scoring 11th and 10th place respectively each for 35 points <laughs> gets in with two tournaments and that's how it is for some people <laughs> but it's like strong performances there so that's one where it might be a little bit lower in the rankings but with the tournaments that they've shown they'll be able to they'll be able to make good on their seed do really well yeah absolutely there are big hopes for all these players here they have a lot of great placements it's going to be very interesting seeing the dynamic between jason vince and westall play out throughout this bracket especially with where jason is placed there could be some there could be some weird stuff going on there just because of the qualification but regardless i'm excited to see how this turns out this is one of the most stacked groups that we have here i'm just glad that some players we all recognize master 101 as a you know as a very very reputable name but only able to play during the beginning half of the qualification so there's a lot of potential left in master as well super super great group here um and you guys are going to be seeing this soon it's going to be one of the first groups that we stream so just you know stay tuned for that i cannot wait to be able to start bringing this tournament to you guys i've been wanting to start this event since like <laughs> early in the year 2022 when this is being conceptualized and we are finally here yeah, and this is one of the groups where it's where it's like you look at it and it's like oh, we're only gonna let two of these people make it to the finals. <laughs> I know it's one of those groups, and you know there are, there are a few of them here. There are a few of them where we think about that. Uh, honestly, kind of all of them. All these players are great, and just stacking these all into one tournament, you have like several different combinations of like top eights in one giant 64 player bracket, something that we've never seen before and probably won't be able to see until future TWCs. But with right. that said, it's not something you get, it's not something where you get this amount of players all in one event at the same time. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, it's a rare opportunity. And with that rare opportunity, do we want to move down to Group G? All right, let's move on to Group G. We've talked about F being one where we're not, where it's like, okay, only two people can make it out. I think we'll be seeing it again for G because let's 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 take a look at who we got yep. here. Show us these players, Willie J. What do we got? All right, Group G, it's going to be on that Saturday, November 11th on the PK stream. Our number one seed, overall seventh with 275 points, Duck Life. Not far behind, we've got Blarg, 245 points for them. Then Turtle and Co-Filter at three and four, respectively. And then our next four, we got Kepsi, Radaris, Quick and Smart, and Gladon. This and group. That's a, that's a bit of a death group. <laughs> This group is crazy. You thought the last one was a death group? Check this right. one out, dude. You got Ritteru, Blarg, and Duck in this group. And in the last group, you had Westel, Vince HD, J and Jason. Master Notable, too. I do you know. We got Kepsi, Turtle, Cofilter, Gladon, and Quick and Smart as well. Quick and Start, you might recognize more from commentating than actually playing, but Quick has been putting in the work and qualifying and made it into the top 64, so big shoutouts to them. I'm so glad that we'll be able to see them throughout the TWC season in both like a streamed competition, intense um, kind of point of view, as well as the amazing commentary that they can provide. Yeah, dude. And when I look at a bracket, when I look at like a, a screen like this, my first thought is, is this a group for qualifying or is this like a top eight from a tournament? This is definitely <laughs> it's a like, tournament These are top all eight. top eight players. These are players who all would be top eight at some tournaments. 
Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, Quick has been grinding a lot of placements. Like, sometimes before commentary blocks, Quick would play in tournaments, and then um, after their run is over, they'd ask and hop on commentary. So Quick has they been go right back the on the You just recognize them more for another role, but they were really double playing in this tournament. They were they were in a lot of tournaments playing a two part role. Right, it's hard to it's hard to see somebody who you know as like a big face on commentary. It's like, oh wait, yeah, they they put in this work, they put it in, they're ready, they're good. It's how, how do you do both is beyond me, but it's definitely a, a very strong player. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we talked we talked about those four strong players from the last group, but I mean, someone mentioned it in chat. You may recognize Kafilter under another name, being Usaki or Usaki Dodo, um, who's also super strong. So this group is going to be crazy. It sucks that it just ends up like this, but when you have so much top talent, it's hard to evenly spread them all out. Like, right? It's so hard. <laughs> So sometimes this just happens and it just makes the group stage that much like more exciting, you know? We get to see so many interesting combinations of players and matches from a tournament like this. 64 players, man. So cool. Yeah, it's like it's you get 64 players who are the if you've played in a tournament and you've won it, you'll be here and it's like it's all of the tournament players from this whole season, which is just it's just mind blowing. It's, just, it's all culminated here. Like, this is it. What we've all been waiting for. Like, I can't believe we've already seen most of the groups because it still feels like there's so much more that we have to show off. So, right, if there's yeah. nothing else we can talk about here in the chat's ready, it might be time for our final group. I think it's time for our final group. Let's take a look at who we've got in Group H. All right, Willie J, bring it to us. All right, our number one, Caboozled Pie in this group. Uh, PK stream November 4th, 2023. I That should be obvious that it's 2023. I don't know why I decided to say that. That's going to be our Saturday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's going to be our Saturday of this weekend. Second, The second in this group is Tato's. Then in our running for third and fourth, Akma and Widgek. And then our other four, Ocarin, Ergonomics, Silver Nibbles, and Kill XP. uh h yeah um <laughs> i swear you guys keep on thinking we script these damn things but it's just how it works <laughs> it's, i promise that we didn't script anything listen all right why script storylines when the math just makes it for you dude we don't need we don't need the script the universe scripted for us Commando, I'm telling you with a straight face right now, with how the players worked out, Caboose was the 8th rank in the overall event with 253 points, and that puts them in Group H, dog. Caboozled got 8th place in the qualifiers. <laughs> TWC I is a story we're, that we're writes gonna have to like skip. Man. We're gonna have to skip the letter H. <laughs> Yeah, we are. It's like how we Goodbye. skip. It's how like we skip the the letter E in like the American grading system, right? Like we're just gonna have to it's skip like, it. like you skip H in tournaments. You skip the thirteenth floor on a building. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be the brand. It's just gonna be the brand new thing. All right. But yeah, we just I have another stack group. Like, look at this. There are five amazing players I can name. Actually, six amazing players I can name here. That's the people in the top six. And then you have seventh and eighth seed here who are great in their own right. I don't know what to even say about this, man. Right. Like, it's, it's crazy to see that, like, some of these people are going to be out in early rounds. And it's like, how do you have a tournament so stacked that yeah. some of these people are going to go and not win <laughs> yeah we have dormy mentioning that second place is a pretty decent contest here and there might even be a run for first here that could be made depending on what's going on and then let alone all the other places this group is a, probably the hardest one to predict out of the entire tournament and we are showing it less so everything here is close i feel like these entire group stage a lot of placements in these groups are close so I just can't believe that out of all of these groups, we can only pick two players from each of them to move on to this top 16 bracket. So we're gonna go back to the cameras for a second. 
We're just gonna kind of digest what we saw here, and then we're gonna talk about the final details, um, the final details for it all, and wrap up this presentation. Yeah, wow, it's just, it's, it's crazy that, it's crazy that 63 of these players are not gonna win. <laughs> that's, that's one of the things that we're just like, at the, at three weeks from now, we're gonna have to have one of these not, not be here. <laughs> It's gonna be, it's gonna happen, and you'll see that action over these next three weeks. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, this group stage is gonna populate two of our three weeks of the championship, and it's already so good. But the craziest part is, it's only gonna get better. Willie J, it's only Indeed. gonna get better. So, it is. It's gonna be so much better. You know, we spent a lot of time hyping up and showing off these groups, of course, justified. So, why don't we give them a little bit of insight of the rest uh, that we can see at this event? Why don't we show them how the final top 16 bracket's gonna stack up? All right, let's give them. Let's give them that information. All right, so let's check out this final top 16 bracket. You will be seeing this just to double check here at midnight UTC. Um, or let's just Number say 17. to be, let's just, you know, be correct. 11.59 p.m. UTC on the oh, 17th yeah, yeah, and yeah. the 18th of November. Here's how this is all going to stack up. For seeding purposes, it's going to be the winner of certain groups versus the runner-up of other groups. And you'll have this information in the graphic of who will be going against who. It will be posted um, on Twitter when we announce the event. It's also on worlds.tetrio right now if you click the bracket tab. You can see how these matches form. Yep. Um, and so actually... For those who aren't execs, who don't know how this tournament goes, these aren't just normal matches. Each of these matches here, each of these matches is a best of three, and then finals are best of five. So you're gonna see a lot. It's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of gameplay here. <laughs> mhm. Mm and so it does get moved to a single elimination once we get to this point, but you do have to lose multiple sets in your match to get out. Yeah, so this this event is going to be an endurance test, for sure. Yes, indeed. Sets like this have so, never been played in events this high stakes. And so it'll be those that first round will happen on that uh, Friday, and then the rest of it will happen on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. We're seeing one match from each player on that first day, and then whoever's left, that top eight, will be reduced to one in the final day. Yeah, this so, is gonna be this so is gonna be this, cool. <laughs> yep. So for those of you who um, aren't familiar, um, Tetra World Championship as well as Square One, which we ran earlier last year, both run on a World Cup bracket. So World Cup bracket is 16 players seated as so put together in a single elimination tournament and then there's a third place match as well yep so yeah um and as we noted so the regular group stage are going to be the first two 11s that you know and love and then in the round of 16 it shakes up from round of 16 to semifinals, it will be best of three first to 11 sets so you'll play a first to 11, first person to win two of them will move on. Grand finals will be best of five. First to 11 yeah. sets. So you'll need to win three first to 11 sets to move on. It's it's definitely an endurance test, but an endurance test is is perfectly fit to determine the Tetria World Championship. <laughs> World Champion. <laughs> I think. I tried to say it. I was hoping you wouldn't watch it. I'm great at speaking. The Tetria World Champion. Yep, so... Top 16 is gonna be crazy, and it's worth knowing the bronze match will be still played as a best of three as well, so remember that. Bronze yep. match will be best of three um, for that second place, but the final bracket will be... Um, the final bracket ending the grand finals god i need to relearn english um best of five 
Yes, indeed. So there will be a lot of great showings between these players. I haven't even seen them. The matches haven't happened yet, obviously, but I'm just, I, we know, I know that when they do, it's going to be some crazy yep. stuff. The thing about this tournament is like, you know, endurance has never been put to the test like this. And when you're playing in worlds, of course, like it's not just going to be first to 11 sets only throughout all of this. There does need to be an endurance test because let's talk, let's talk about this kind of for a second. Like you think of the, you think of the players who are more known on the strider side of things, they're going to need to bust out their efficiency legs during these sets. I don't know if anyone, Westo might surprise me, can 5 PPS for potentially 5 sets in a row, depending on how long their matches last. So, sets like these are going to have to bring out more facets of skill in players. If they one-trick a certain playstyle, more is going to need to be brought out to give them breaks. And that's that's kind of a thing that I love about this best of set format. I've been wanting to see this in a Tetrio tournament, bar PBT and TEC as well. And I hope that will be coming at some point. But in a Tetris tournament in general for a long time, get that endurance test on. See who can really make it run. Yes, Nate, because that final has potential to run into like a hundred point long. <laughs> Thing, which is a little bit crazy to think about worst case or long case scenario there but you can't win just by doing something that's vast and unsustainable you have to be you have to be good you have to be consistent you have to be efficient and you have to have the endurance to win yep and at the and at the end of it only one can win and it'll be the person who has mastered those aspects of this game more than any other player. So, and I know some people have noted this, so I'm just going to bring this up. Some people have mentioned, why isn't the winner of A playing the runner-up of H? Because that is how traditional seeding would work, right? So I'm just going to give you a reminder. Um, the seeded runner-up of Group H is ninth overall in the event, right? Remember that overall seeding. But the forecasted runner-up of Group A is seed 16th so that's that's why it works like that right yes and so you you have so the runner-up gets put on the other side so like you swap mm -hmm. the runner-up of a and b but so it's like the runner-up yeah. of B is seated it looks a little bit weird at first but it works out when you look at the individual numbers you know and you you see what's going on there yes indeed you know, World Cup brackets with groups this large are complicated to find a good seeding formula for, so we just had to find the best fit of what would traditionally represent, you know, a normal, regular, single elimination bracket, and this is the best formula that we could come up with. It's mathematically the best formula. Yeah, it's just the best way that we can do it. There's a lot of contention with brackets, but, you know, we're trying to deliver the best experience for you. And if there are upsets in the groups, it just makes for an even wilder final bracket. Yeah, and we're not, I'm sure we're not going to be seated. We're going to be free of upsets. This is a tournament where you're putting so much top talent into a bracket that's like, okay, seedings don't matter anymore. These are the best of the world. You're gonna get to a point where anybody can beat anybody. <laughs> yeah, this this is gonna be close in contention, especially in the top four. I don't know if we will be able to tell at this point with the endurance stuff like that, testing the limits of these players. So I think um I think that is all of our like bracket tournament and uh information, but I think we have one more final announcement. I could probably take the head on this one. So one thing I'll say here, I'll just go back to the cameras for this. The prize pool is open for Tetra World Championship 2023. I will pin the link to that here if you want to and support I'll, the main event. I'll also say uh, QMK just contributed uh, $300 to that prize pool. So we're up to uh, $1,312.55 now. Yeah, which was before we even start gameplay we're here. Right. <laughs> So big shout outs to all of you for making that happen. And I'm just going to shout out all of the other donators as well while we're here. QMK chipping in the 300. Big love to QMK, a big supporter of all these events. Um, Jed from Team TSD sending their regards with a $200 donation. Big love, man. Thank you so much for being a part of this circuit and helping to contribute. Like, we really appreciate it so much. Everyone who's contributed. We got... um. 
I, I mean, I don't know if I should wait until the end to mention to mention him or mention him now, but big shouts to a random guy who's donated. I can't even mental math, but it's probably close to six hundred or seven hundred dollars to this prize pool by now. It's exactly six sixty six right now. <laughs> $666, almost half of the prize pool from a random guy helping support um, potentially one of the biggest events in modern stacker game history. Thank you so much for your support. I'm glad to have you on board for future stuff. It's going to be amazing, man. Just want to thank you so much. And then we have Flower Petal and the HNS team contributing 10% of their TWC major prize pools and the amounts of $68 and $50 respectively to the TWC prize pool. Big shout out to Hummingbird Nest for being a part of this project, hosting some great majors and some great tournaments, along with basically propping up the entire minor scene. And then if we go down a bit more, we got um, Leoa with the $10 donation. Thank you so much. We got Kaluna with the 1265, which rounded off our prize pool to $1,000. Thank you so much for helping us reach that milestone. As well as everyone who's been contributing with sponsor quests and stuff like that on Match Arena. Helps out a lot. Um, and I think the last thing is a random guy also purchased a PK keychain, and that was a part of their donation total. So thank you so much, man. It just really means a lot. And speaking of that Puzzle Kingdom keychain, in addition to regular Puzzle Kingdom merch as well as merch from other various organizations, more announcements on that and what merchandise items you can buy to contribute to the prize pool coming soon. Currently, right now, we have the PK jersey, the PK shirt, the PK keychain, and the Ebi and Avi cushion for um, stacking arena, the stacking arena OCs. We have three new TWC merch items. I'm so excited to show these to you guys. I'm so excited for these. We have poster branded mouse pads in longer and traditional sizes, the event t shirt, and Tetrio and TWC branded keychains available for purchase at matcharino.com slash T slash TWC2023. They're not available just yet, but they will be available at the start of our stream on Friday. So keep your eye out for that. The merch this year is fire. I'm going to tell you guys personally, I've needed a mouse pad refresh for a long time. I will be using our TWC branded mouse pads. Ooh, I'll have to get myself one of those too, because I don't, I actually don't have one right now. So it's going to be like a perfect opportunity for me to get one. <laughs> Yeah, so you can get that longer TWC keychain, or you can get the hexagon-shaped one with the Tetrio logo. Both of them are super amazing. So, the merch this year is gonna go cosmic. I cannot wait for people to get their hands on this, and yeah. Um, it'll be available for purchase um, this weekend as well. Its orders should start shipping um, pretty much then, or if not, the next weekend. Yep, and so all of that... Proceeds from that goes to support uh, the prize pool and ask direct and ask directly. Mm -hmm. It also helps to support the the organization for this event um, because TWC is a huge undertaking. We've had to do a lot to make this possible, so it goes to support everyone on all sides. It goes to help support the organization and the assets because I mean, look at this art. This art is amazing. We got to make sure the artists and everyone are comp fairly for that. So buying your merch helps support those guys, helps support Oscar and the Tetrio team to continue um, partnering with us and making it feasible for them to help run TWCs in our tournaments. The bannered ads, making all this stuff possible and making it as huge as it can be. Um, and it also supports the prize pool directly. A portion of prize pool will, uh, or a portion of merch proceeds will go directly to the prize pool and the players. So I'm just, I'm excited that we have these. This is some of the best merch for an event that we've ever had. So I'm so glad that it seems like the reactions have been good. And I, I hope that you guys enjoy this stuff. Yeah, I'm super excited for it. And I'm glad to see that other people are too, because this is going to be, this is going to be a great three weeks for Tetrio. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be some of the best um, content from tournaments that we've ever seen. We're gonna be seeing a lot of players we've seen before, a lot of people who are new to the top stage of competition as well. You know, those people, kind of the dark horses, playing, uh, placing 16th place consistently, making their way in to TWC. You may not have seen on stream before. It's gonna be exciting to get them in here. Yeah, it's gonna be great. And all 64 of these players are gonna get their shot. Yep. 
So, uh, if we don't have anything else to say, I don't want to keep you guys for much longer. We've had a long hour here. So, I mean, I just want to thank you, Willie J, for coming on with me kind of last minute, helping me present this event and kind of bring this forward to you guys. We were originally just going to tweet about this, but I think we figured that an event like this, even if it was kind of a last minute idea, we do need to bring this to you guys in a live format and have this kind of reveal. It was so hype. An event like this deserves a presentation like this, and I was super happy to be on for this. Yep, so, um, next morning on Wednesday, we'll be having tweets out with all this information. You'll get pinged again in your respective Tetris, uh, relayed Discord server of choice. Your, um, your favorite Tetrio and block stacking related servers. So be sure to share the info of the tournament if they couldn't, um make it to this keynote i'm also going to do something pretty interesting we're going to catch up with some uploads on the pk youtube channel and we're going to upload this keynote in its entirety so people can experience this and watch the info as well there so you'll see the video advertised tomorrow and then you can share that as well if people want to kind of watch the presentation live But um, yeah, this has been a great time. I want to thank everyone for watching because we did not announce that this was happening beforehand. We had hundreds of people in here. So I want to thank you guys so much for, you know, coming in here, being interested in the event and spreading the word. Um, again, it just, me it just means a lot to us. We've been putting so much work in the entire TWC team. Um, and you know, while we're here, man, I'm just gonna... I apologize if I'm interrupting too much, Willie J, but I just think we should talk about every org who's had a part in the back end of this. Um, we got, you know, PK and Team TSD, the orgs that are going to be operating the mainstreams along with Hummingbird Nest for the quad. You got Modern Mino Community, World Puzzle League, Taws, Infinite Finesse, Full Throttle, Tetris Moderno, Latino America, TML, love those guys, partnering with us for the LCQ, Tetris Thai Community, and... Prayer emoji, VTT Global, and thinking Tetris involved in the back and giving us some advice on how to run this, as well as the Tetrio team for being so hospitable and allowing us to put on the World Championship as a collective. Big love to all of you. Without this co big collaboration, without this big collaboration, this would not have been possible. I might need a collaborator to speak for me. I have one here, but I might need you to take over. I can't talk anymore, man. I'm on E. Yeah, it's it's crazy just how it's crazy how many different um, community forces came together to make something like this possible, and just how many people it does take to make something like this possible. Right, we're gonna be having three streams on simultaneously um, over these next two weeks, and then just the one for the finals week, obviously. But um, my. I guess I can't speak either. It's crazy just how many people have come together to make this possible. And just a huge shout out to everybody who has. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think that's the least we can do is give them a thanks here. Um, I don't think we have much more to kind of cover here. So would anyone like to drop some raid suggestions here? Maybe some TWC players if they're live or just people who've been involved in the tournament commentary or whatever because i mean there's so many people live like i don't know i just want to see you guys want us to raid at the end and then of course we'll be back friday on hummingbird nest for the quad puzzle kingdom and team tsd for the mainstreams with our first two groups yeah but you won't want to miss it there'll be a lot of great action for it for you to watch But yeah, I'm just, uh, we're checking this out here. It seems like we have a few prominent, um, suggestions. Let me see, I'm looking, I'm watching Twitch ads, dude. I don't, I don't need to watch Twitch ads. Ah. I'm getting, I've been getting so many, like, DoorDash commercials. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can, uh, we'll raid Jinta. I don't Ooh, know if they're playing one. right now, but, you know, they did qualify, so go give them your congratulations. Wait, they're watching the stream. <laughs> well, not for long. Um. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> you're, you're not watching this for long. We're raiding That's you, buddy. 
But yeah, again, if you're not already there and you need a Discord server to join for updates, you can hop in the PK Discord. There's also a TWC official Discord on worlds.tetrio. I'm pretty sure that you can join. Um, but every major server um, in the community will be giving you updates for this event. So I'm uh, I'm just so excited that we're finally here. We finally made we're it. Finally to here. We finally made it. And yeah, um, I'm not gonna hold you guys for much longer. Enjoy Gene's stream, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Love you all, and I'll see you on Friday. Yep, we'll see y'all later, everyone.